So what about with all those babies that God killed at Passover? All the babies that God killed at Passover? Their firstborn sons, you know? Yeah, they were killed for a reason, to make Pharaoh wake up and realize... God could have just killed Pharaoh. Pharaoh. He could have just killed Pharaoh. No. Why not? Because he needed to teach Pharaoh a lesson. Hi, it's Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video. And today, we're taking on the abortion insanity. Now, it's really tough to... Uh, argue with these anti-abortionists because they kind of make up their arguments as they go. And you could tell this lady's doing this by the way she's shaking her head while she's talking, making up the lie. Okay, so God killed babies to punish the believers in Pharaoh or the non-believers or something like that. Well, that was then. Maybe today God's killing babies to punish Republicans. I mean, if you truly believe in God, then you know God's will is beyond anything man can comprehend. So, I mean, as long as you're making the story up, who knows? Who, why not? Why not? And by the way, this is Old Testament God stuff. Now, I'm no expert. That Old Testament God, though, he was mean. Lots of smiting. Something you might want to think about as you're worshiping that golden idol of Trump. Just saying. So people, children had to die so that Pharaoh could learn a lesson. The people who were not believers in him? Yeah. Yes. So God's willing to sacrifice children. Whatever happens to their children. So let me get this straight. So God couldn't have killed Pharaoh. He had to kill all the, oh, I should say she, that would really make a mad. Had to kill all the firstborn babies to get the people to believe because God's ego was so great that, that he would, Ah, see, I can't even argue with this because it's so ridiculous. It's God. If God wanted to kill Pharaoh, God could have created a drone strike and took him right out. I mean, why not? But And if God really wanted believers, how about miracles? Miracles go a long way toward believers. You got a bunch of poor people out there? Start turning that water into wine and watch how fast they all believe in you. Come on. God would have been smart enough to go the miracle route, not just randomly killing firstborn babies. It just doesn't make sense. That's not very godly. Again, in the Old Testament, I guess it was. I don't know. I should be shaking my head because I'm making up a lie as I go and this is how you do it. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, yeah, that's the ticket. Sorry, Mr. Lovitz. Imagine getting all dolled up to come to a women's health care clinic and then not having anything to say because you've been called an idiot like three times and you can't handle that. Nobody on the swim team ever called you an idiot, huh? As long as people get pregnant, they're going to get abortions. Your goal is to stop legal, safe abortions. So you have the death sentence in your mind for women. Okay, now I like these two. I'm going to call them the Dayton boys because when you got time to hang out on a ladder in the woods and yell at women at a uh, women's health care clinic, you should be called the Dayton boys. And it's obvious employment isn't high on your priorities. Now, I haven't heard this slavery argument before, but it's kind of cute. Why? Because I strongly suspect two white guys hanging out in the woods outside of Dayton would be okay with slavery. Now, I have heard the argument about abortion being an anti-black thing because they're killing black babies. Well, here's the problem with that argument. If you ask these same people for money to support these babies, well, it gets mighty quiet out. Not sure the Dayton boys have a lot of money to give to charity. They're too busy. Uh, 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 well, actually, they're not very busy, are they? Other than hating. Because if they can't access safe abortions, whether it's legal or not, if they can't access safe abortions without being harassed, what do you think their you what do you think their next resort is going to be? That's like going to the slave owner and saying slavery will never end. That's you're comparing abortion to slavery. I just want to make sure that's clear. Say it. Say it. Exactly what it is, brother. Now here's where our hero screws up. He's trying to use logic, and you can't use logic to argue against these people whose minds are made up and minds are closed. What he's saying makes perfect sense. As long as women are getting pregnant, they're going to find abortions, so abortion should be legal and safe. And that sounds fair, and that makes a lot of sense. Now, these anti-abortion guys, they're just talking smack, because believe me, if either of these Dayton boys gets in a situation with a woman where she needs an abortion, they're going to get her in their truck. And, and by the way, you know they have a truck. They're going to get her in the truck and they're going to drive her to some state where abortion is legal. I believe it was legal in Indiana when a 10-year-old needed an abortion. And rather than look at the problem that would lead to a 10-year-old needing an abortion, they attacked the abortion provider. These people are very twisted, very broken, very hateful, and logic just won't work. We need to organize, we need to vote, 
And please, 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 let's expand the Supreme Court to do away with these right-wing idiots.